Hey, what's going on guys? What's Omar Mellon back again? And today I'm going to be bringing you the market watch or the market review for February 2024. As you guys can see, starting things off, Starlet Rares have come down a lot. Um, a considerable amount of that has to do with rarity collection. The quarter century secret rares just make a lot of these Starlight Rares obsolete. Um, and, you know, the tins have made things like Stardust Dragon and Black Rose uh, as well as Exodia, all three of these got reprinted as tin promos, um, so their value has gone down considerably. And then other cards to look at, you see IP Masquerade has gone down, that also got a quarter century secret rare. Apollosa, um, the alternate art was announced in Rarity Collection 2, but I think there's a lot of there are a lot of people that think the original art may also uh, be printed in Rarity Collection 2, and you can see that even though the market um, price is reflecting $1,087, you can get it for $760 because it's been such a drastic shift. Um, you can see that some people have taken others up on the $730, but you can look at the jump from over $1,000 to below um, you know, $750. People are really trying to fire sell these things because they're afraid that the price is just going to go down to, to very, very low because there's going to be a much more accessible version that looks nearly identical. Then you can go on to things like, you know, Trishula, where there hasn't been any, you know, significant developments. However, um, it's just people are becoming less uh, trusting of the Starlight Rare Rarity and collectibles as a whole are going down. You can see that, you know, you just look at this graph over the past three months, it's been a steady decline. And I think that's been generally uh, the trend that we've seen where, you know, it stabilized in early 2023 from a large decline. And it's just kind of going consistently down. You can see that there's a lot of room for the marketplace to reflect where you can actually buy it um, because it's selling for around 104 and the market price is 121. Um, other things like Yadagarasu have kind of bottomed out. Um, you know, there doesn't seem to be any upward movement. There aren't, you know, very few listings on the market. You can see there are a bunch of sellers sort of walled up at 63. And so given the amount of sellers at around 63, I can't imagine it holds the line. But you can see that it's been holding the line for a couple of months. So um, I don't know where something like that will end up. Uh, it seems to be just a steady decline for most cards and for things where there's speculated new printings and quarter century secret rares, just really large losses there. Toon Blackluster Soldier, this reflects an increase in price to 160.23. I don't believe that that is a real increase. I think there is a one sale. Yeah, there is one sale at 200, likely due to you know someone buying from a region where most sellers won't ship to, so they had fewer sellers to choose from, and the lowest was 200. Um, you can see at first edition, 150 is more where it's at. So you see that it's gone up a little. That's not really reflected by real data. It's just there's one sale for a very high price um, that shouldn't be there. You can see that other things like Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning starting to tumble a bit. Um, Toon Chaos seems to sort of have lost its luster. Um, <laughs> other than BLS, there are a number of other collector rares that have been suffering. Hungry Burger is not one of them. It's just been going up and up. I thought this was kind of a meme collector rare, but it's actually done quite well for itself. Um, some of them, like Rescue Rabbit, Arcana, Triumph Joker, they've lost more than half their value or half their value, but they're kind of digging their uh, you know feet in the or heels in the sand a bit here, um, where you know they're not plummeting, but they're slowly going down over time. Uh, other things like Gate Guardian continuing to fall out. I just think that the Collector Rare rarity has lost a lot of its luster. Um, I don't know where Collector Rares go from here. Card Trooper is an interesting one, actually. Um, that seems to be doing quite well for itself. If we look at the plot, you can see that it's been going up and up very slowly. I mean, on the y-axis, this is only roughly a dollar, so it's not going crazy, but it is doing better for itself. Um, Secret Pharaoh's Rares, Dark Magician Girl has some interesting stuff going on with it, but it's not generally performing, like, unbelievably. You can see there was, you know, it sort of plateaued, it looked like it was going to really go down, then all of them got bought off the market. It seems like, you know, new sellers are appearing who are trying to get rid of this thing at around 380, so, um, 
the buyout of this card has not succeeded. Other cards, the Secret Pharaoh's rares out of King's Court are continuing to go down. Elemental Hero Neos, unsurprisingly, the quarter century secret rare kind of uh, makes a Secret Pharaoh's rare a bit less desirable, even though that printing is not particularly good. Seal of Aru Kalkos, this is one of those ones that really lost so much value, and then now it's just kind of, it lost so much already, it's not continuing to go down a whole lot. It's more so stabilizing. Secret Pharaoh's rares on the whole, down 9%, lost a considerable amount again. Ghost rares are the interesting ones. They actually went up 1%. Um, and what we're seeing is something that I don't think is too surprising, and I've been talking about this quite a bit. There are certain ghost rares that I think are way overvalued. Mainly the ghost from the past one ghost rares, specifically the Dark Magician. Some of the other ones I think also have a lot of room to fall for example crystal clear wing synchro dragon if it stops being playable um things like uh excuse me i think i have another one blue eyes alternative dragon at 100 i don't think that's a terrible buy but you compare dark magician to dark magician girl and it just doesn't make sense why dark magician would be worth so so much more i think it's a great card but not at that price 500 dollars is way too much and it's coming down considerably um, however, the other ones, Ghost Rares are kind of the one rarity that in recent memory, since Ghost from the Past 2, haven't been abused in the way that Starlight Rare has been abused, where they're just printing an identical version of the rarity um, in a much more accessible form. Ghost from the Past 2, you can say what you want. It's done a lot. Uh, you know, they printed a bunch of really, really cool Ghost Rares, made it very accessible, um, and the quality control wasn't great, so people were sort of turned off to Ghost Rares for a while. But you look at some of these things like Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon out of Ghost from the Past 2, it's climbing quite a bit, $35 to $43 in a month. We sort of saw it. Uh, there is evidence that that was going to happen, and I talked about this on my last uh, monthly update, but you can see that you know it's been going up quite a bit for the past month. Um, pretty huge. You look at the y-axis, that's like a 25% increase. Someone actually just bought one at $50. I don't know why. Um, but you can see that that's doing quite well for itself. And a lot of the other Ghost from the Past 2 stuff is actually performing somewhat well. Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, some of these legendary Duelist Ghost Rares that were essentially nothing. People are now sort of shifting from Starlight Rares and whatever um, towards these as more accessible options. There's an unverified seller at 18, but overall not too bad Let's find near mints again unverified at 20 and then verified at 20 plus a dollar shipping so not too bad so ghost rares seem to be doing quite well on the whole about a four percent decline not too crazy but um you know pretty consistent with what we've been seeing overall cards are just losing value um specifically modern cards so let me know what you guys think as always use the uh, eBay affiliate links in the description. It's Benny Boy Wall, Tomar Mellon, and peace out.